thanks for joining me. I'm going to be deckling the edges of this paper like it is on the top and bottom. I bought a large sheet of paper and I'm going to be deckling the edges that I need to cut. I'm going to measure just about a quarter of an inch longer than I need. I'm going to be doing a 9 by 12 so I'm doing it a little bit farther than I really needed it to be so I can do the deckling. I fold it by putting my finger just right against that mark that I made and I'm going to be folding it back and forth from one side to the other just to break down a little bit of the uh, fibers of this paper. So just go back and forth. You can use your finger to do the folding or you can also get a bone folder to, uh, to crease it a little bit more. And now I'm going to wet it, just saturate it really well and I'm going to do it in a, with a big brush so that I'm not just wetting just a tiny bit of the crease. I want to make it a little wider than the crease and then I'm going to turn it over and do the other side. So I'm going to do both sides and saturate it really well. Get it good and soaked. Okay, and now I'm going to continue folding it back and forth. And here's the bone folder I was talking about. Just use it to um, flatten it a little bit more. You don't want to do this a lot. Uh, you don't want to, when you're tearing it, for it to tear in a straight line. But I just want to keep breaking down those fibers. Now I'm going to start tearing it really carefully. I'm going to pull one direction and then if it starts tearing into the other side then I pull that side over. So I just go back and forth. I do want it to tear slightly on the other side so that it's causing jagged edges. I don't want a straight uh, cut. I want it to cut um, unevenly, but I want to control it as well, so I'm doing it really slowly. Okay, now that that's done, you see that the edge has some jagged areas and then um, some that have actually has like little tabs at the edge. So I'm going to wet it again. It's already a little bit wet, but I want to wet it even more. And then I'm going to take uh, my clean fingers and just roll that edge all the way from one end to the other, kind of roll it uh, toward myself. And this is the side that I'm going to be painting on. So I want to roll it toward the side that I'm going to paint. So just gently rub back and forth with your finger. And there are some places that I may want to tear just a little bit more, give it even more of a deckled feel. But I'm going to be very careful and I'm going to rip, try to rip the top layer of paper. So I'm not going to rip it completely, just the top layer. I don't want it to look like, you know, a mouse got into your paper and just chewed the edges. I want it to have that same look and feel that the original deckled edges had. So I'm just going to play around with it, tear a little bit, roll it, and um, doing all of this while it's still good and moist on the edge. Okay, now I'm going to take a, a hair dryer and just simply dry the edge. I'm going to let it dry as it is. Maybe pull it out a little bit from the rolled edge, but mainly I'm leaving it rolled. And as I'm drying it, the paper will stiffen up a little bit 
and will look more authentically deckled. Also, when you're drying it, uh, because you wet the paper beforehand, it may start to buckle a little bit, and blowing it dry will help the buckling situation as well. So now I'm just going to flatten it out a bit, and there's my deckled edge. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you patrons.